Uh, we really appreciate everyone being here today, and uh, and Katie's opening uh, flows so much into the next piece of the program. Uh, I recently heard a, a fascinating uh, podcast. It was a sermon. It was a New Year's Eve uh, sermon. Uh, the minister challenged folks who listened not to think about eating better in the new year or managing your schedule better, but to answer a question. Uh, the question was, what breaks your heart and what are you going to do about it? Maybe the way to think about Children's Advocacy Day is when you think about Kentucky's kids, what breaks your heart? And what are you going to do about it? I mean, maybe what breaks your heart is that we no longer have almost one in four. We no longer have one in four, but we have more than one in four kids who live in poverty. If that breaks your heart, I want you to challenge our lawmakers to do something about it. Maybe what breaks your heart is that over 18,000 children in Kentucky suffered from abuse and neglect last year. If that breaks your heart, we want you to challenge lawmakers to do something about it. Maybe what breaks your heart is that two out of three fourth graders in Kentucky can't read at a nationally proficient level, that seven out of 10 eighth graders can't meet national standards in math, if, if that breaks your heart, we want you to challenge lawmakers to do something about it. So you just heard Katie talk about what breaks her heart is that we have not realized the full potential of kinship care. I want you to really challenge yourself today to think about what is that issue that breaks your heart and, and what can our elected leaders do uh, to make a difference? Because the one thing that I will tell you is that at a, in a year where it seemingly everyone is predicting that nothing is gonna get done in Frankfurt, we feel just the opposite. The, the track record of our General Assembly over the last several years has been that they have indeed been champions for kids. And we really hope and expect that to continue working with Speaker Stumbo, President Stivers, and Governor Bevin. Uh, we are approaching 2016 with optimism and pragmatism.